torn some paper, I can think about a picture that I can make with the paper. I think that the zigzag would be good for grass. I could turn it this way or this way. There's so many different ways to make a picture with paper that you rip, and there's no one way to do it. So just because I'm making some grass does not mean that you need to. So I'm gonna add glue to my paper. I'm gonna glue it down. If you get a little bit of purple on your paper, that's okay because it's gonna dry clear. You wanna make sure you smooth it down with your fingers so that it doesn't pop up. And if you get any on your hands, you can kind of magic it away by rubbing it together. Like that, and like that. Okay, I think I would actually like a little bit more zigzag paper for grass, so I'm gonna go ahead and rip this. Now I'm gonna look at the other pieces of paper I have and think about what I might be able to make with them. Now, I thought that this might look like a dinosaur, so I'm actually going to rip some more pieces off of it. And I'm gonna turn this ah, into my T-Rex. Gotta kind of tear that off. Sometimes that happens. As you're working, you realize that something you made looks like something, and you can use that. Now, anywhere where I put two pieces of black paper together, it looks like it becomes one piece. So what I might want to do is rip this a little bit, so that there's a little bit of space here, so you can really see that he has a tail. Now if I wanted to make an eye for my dinosaur, could I do it with black paper? Hmm, let's see. If I wanted that to be an eye, you know, you can't really see it. So I would have to get some white paper to make an eye. But for today, we're just going to use black paper on white to create our picture. So there's my dinosaur, and maybe I need to add the sun. Now friends, I want you to explore the ways that you can change the paper with your hands, and then how you can make a picture with the pieces that you rip. When you're all done, don't forget to put the cap on your glue, and take the other little scraps of paper. You could save them for a collage later, or you can take them and put them in your recycling bin. And that's what I'm gonna do. All right, friends, have fun and be creative.